Hello guys, Vizarche bringing you another Total War Warhammer replay with commentary. For today's battle, we have Fane Chantess Morgiana on her happy high um, unicorn here. She's sitting lazily as well. Maybe she's high as well. With uh, who, uh, who is leading the Britonians against the Wood Elves, who are being led by Dortu, the awesome, awesome. Uh, Three guy, three kin, <laughs> yeah, with his uh, awesome sword. So yeah, let's just jump into the army composition and see what we brought here. So for my army here, I have five units of peasant mob uh, in the front line with one chevron each. I also brought two units of men at arms and two units of battle pilgrims for the secondary line. For my uh, range units, I have four units of peasant bowmen, two of them with pox arrows on the uh, sites to help the calf fights I have uh, a, two units of grey knights uh, each being accompanied by knights of the realm on each flank uh, the combination of these two units anti large units with the peasant uh, bowmen with uh, poison arrows is that they can usually win all the calf fights um, in the in the game at least that's my experience <laughs> Uh, if the enemy is not overloading with uh, their own anti-large cap so um, yeah that's it for my uh, units for my um, heroes and lords i brought two paladins one of the, one of them with guardian the other one uh, nothing um, just being there for damage dealing i have fey enchantress with favor of the fey arcane conduit regrowth earth blood awakening of the wood mist of the lady and life bloom the rest is the um, passive abilities that she has so for my opponent here she, he has brought five units of dryads in the front line one of them the regiment of run rates of the frozen heart uh, four units of eternal guard with shield uh, for the secondary line and um, flank uh, and defending defending the flank uh also five units for for range uh five units of glade guard four of them with uh, starfire shafts and the middle one is with the hagman tips to poison and my opponent also brought two units of glade uh, riders with spears uh, on the flanks and for his caster and lord uh, i mean uh, hero and uh, lord because both of them are casters uh, we have a branch rate with just uh, earth blood um, I don't know um, because my opponent uh, didn't bring the transformation of Kadan just items here I think the pendulum would be good or just um, healing and uh, the uh, manticore summon would be fine you should always bring um, a expensive spell and a cheap spell that's um, usually how it goes but yeah, let's just jump into the army and see how we do here. Uh, my front line's moving as fast uh, as fast as I, the battle started. And yeah, the flanks are, uh, my opponent flanks are weak. The glade riders with spears uh, cannot hold my cap. Even the knights of the realm would have been enough. So I'm going for some freebies here on the flank, uh, on the left flank. Uh, that's what I'm doing as well. I'm gonna charge these uh, dry dryads because they're gonna destroy my front line, and the gray lights are going for a charge into the uh, eternal guard. On the uh, right flank, um, I'm still assessing the situation now. Fey enchantress and paladins are going after the glade guards because my opponent flanks are so weak that I'm just gonna uh, win this calf fight. The other one, uh, my opponent was able to support with the spears but on this side these glade guard uh, glade guardians are gonna glade riders sorry guys are gonna get destroyed and then the archers are uh, free picking so yeah uh, the are uh, the cab is going these guys are gonna get destroyed really fast and yeah this is a really important fight a uh, faint chancellor is charging in for dorsu and yeah this should be a um, uh, not so smart engagement right but look at this damage that uh, Faye is taking it's uh it's virtually nothing that nothing right 
she's not taking any damage and that's because she has a uh, really high magic resistance let me see if i can click on her oh my god stop please i'm trying to make a video you guys what yeah here uh 60 percent magical resistance and uh those two melee attack is magical damage so uh Morgiana is, I mean, Fair Enchantress is not taking 60% um, of that damage, which is really great. And with the Paladins attacking from uh, rear, they're gonna do a lot of damage to doors too. And yeah, my opponent brings his spear, and now that's why I have to move my gray lights. Uh, uh, I have to disengage now because I don't want to get bogged down with uh, these units here. Um, even though I lost the frontline fight, my range units are dealing with uh, the dryads who are remaining, the grey lights and um, knights of the realm are cleaning up the range units and the units that don't have support. But yeah, here I'm I'm just trying to uh, stick to door two with Fey Enchantress. I want him to hit um, Fey as much as possible because when he's uh, when he's not hitting Fey, he's uh, gonna hit something else and yeah that's gonna be a lot of damage like here i'm just for some reason i chased this glade guard with sarshad and now door two is going to go after the paladin look at the damage that's that's just crazy one more three to four hundred damage another one and yeah he's uh he's literally uh destroying this poor paladin um, I, I think I'm gonna cast uh, healing here with these four important units uh, all of them need healing all of them expensive and important in this um, battle uh, but yeah uh, Tor 2 is killing the other paladin as well uh, he's um, shaken and yeah now routing he got he got shotgunned as well uh, so yeah I need to disengage again and uh yeah um, i didn't have enough winds of magic here to cast another healing uh, so i use my nuts of the realm as a screening tool to get my uh, more important units back and yeah on the other sides of the battle i'm able to clean a lot of my opponent's uh, army not of not a lot of uh, not a lot of <laughs> um, infantry remaining as they're getting shot by peasant bowmen here uh, there are some units here uh, but uh, I have a lot of infantry remaining so um, what I'm gonna do here is gonna bring these uh, three units here uh, what I what I have should what I should have done was that bringing these gray knights as well for some reason I didn't uh, which uh, made me really sad and angry after I uh, after I was watching the replay um yeah because they weren't doing anything uh important as well yeah they could have been here uh, getting healing then uh, i could have charged into this glade guard with tagman tips but yeah now uh, that i healed my units i'm controlling the battlefield the balance of power is in my favor i'm gonna do the same fey enchantress is gonna charge door two again and yeah with the magical damage uh, she's not gonna take uh a lot of damage and uh, yeah that's really great now the paladins are coming uh, these uh, men at arms is, are fighting the branch wraith uh, which is really good she's bogged down she can't help in this battle and now these knights of the realm are joining joining the battle as well uh, going after those two and these archers are also supporting and yeah mm, that's it the balance of power is uh, going into my favor and my opponent's army breaks so yeah if you uh, know just a little bit more than your opponent like uh, i knew that my fey enchantress had a real high uh, magical resistance that's why i picked her for this battle and yeah door two was here and that was a fortunate uh, pick for me an unfortunate one for my opponent as he has uh, magical damage and yeah he could have uh, killed many more units uh, while she wa he was not attacking Fey. but yeah let's see how our units sit Fey, um 900 damage value nothing great but she healed a lot she healed a lot of units 
and yes she took a lot of damage uh, from those two uh, which is what what i wanted the magic da magic res magical resistance um really uh, mitigated a lot of that the paladins are uh, not doing so great uh, I think they were attacking Dorsu for a long time, but the damage value is not that high, uh, which is kind of surprising. The peasant mob did great. Many of them paid for themselves. These man at arms also did great. Battle pilgrims, um, not so much. I don't know uh, what happened there. <laughs> but the archers, the bowmen did fine. This unit of uh, Knights of the Realm, not doing so great. This one, uh, really good. He covered for his friend there uh this gray knight uh, not so great as well but this one covered for the other one as well these guys were the one who um, were on the right flank and yeah they were able to do a lot more these two uh, yeah i didn't micro them well so in the left flank uh, they they got wrecked <laughs> um those two doing good amount of damage uh, 2100 uh, branch rate healing but not so great um, the lady branches dress did fine these um, glade uh, eternal guards uh, did really good the archers did fine as well uh, even though they got shut down these two got shut down as well so yeah that's it for this uh, for this battle guys i hope you enjoyed it um, if you did i would really appreciate it if you leave a like and uh, subscribe it would help me and my channel grow uh, I upload videos daily so stay tuned for that as well and uh, yeah I have a discord server if you guys want to hang out the link is in the description of this video and yeah that's it and uh, catch you all later bye